Hey, what's going on everybody? Full Front here today bringing y'all a Clash Mini video and in today's video we had just seen a mini minute and it revealed the Witch and the Golden Giant. So we're going to go th over the stats, the abilities, everything you need to know and then we're going to hop into a couple games showcasing these units. I'm going to try to get one up to three stars and then get the other up to three stars as well. So we'll go about it like that. So let's start with the Golden Giant. So everything you're seeing here is subject to change this is a developer build so just keep that in mind if you numbers are different the ability it might change so just keep that in mind and of course if there is any changes i will obviously update you as soon as i know the information and can show it so golden giant it has a super which is called headbutt attack the enemy with the headbutt stunning them and himself for 2.5 seconds his first ability is called golden helmet it heals 4 hp over two seconds after being stunned its second ability is a ko ability called infinite helmet heal nearby allies for 4 hp over two seconds and then its three star ability is golden headbutt the headbutt's damage and stun duration are doubled meaning five seconds total when you have that third ability so that is a lot for himself but also for the enemy so that's important and then this is the skin uh, as soon as i have information on skins and everything like that it'll probably be a separate video so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you don't miss those videos but this is what the skin looks like it looks super cool and then let's talk about his stats he has two damage per hit he gets uh 0.35 hits per second and it goes up by 0.05 so it'll cap at 0.5 hits per second and then its HP will go up by two hit points per level. So it'll have a total of 19 hit points when you have all three stars upgraded for the Golden Giant. Next up is the Witch. The Witch is a four cost unit. I didn't mention that the Golden Giant is a three cost unit, but the Witch is going to be a four cost unit. It has a base ability as a super called Dark Ritual, where it will summon two skeletons. Its one star ability is Befallen, which will have Dark Ritual summon three skeletons. Its two star ability is Big Bone. The skeletons will gain two bonus hit points. And then its three star ability is called Reinforce. It is a clash ability and you'll get full energy at the start of the match. So that way you can cast Dark Ritual right away. And then this is the skin for the Witch. It looks amazing. It is super cool. It's aquatic themed as well, which is really nice. And then for the stats, the Witch will do one damage per hit. It'll have 0.65 hits per second, and it'll have start with 6 HP, and it'll go up by 2 every level, meaning it will cap at 12 hit points when it has all 3 stars available, and then the energy cost to cast a super is going to be 4 as well. The skeleton stats are not shown on this page, but the skeleton has 2 hit points when it spawns in, uh, 4 hit points with Big Bone, which is the 2nd star ability for the Witch, and will also deal 1 damage per attack. I don't quite know the attack speed, we can check that out in battle. All right, so here we go, hopping into it. We are going to try to get either the Witch or the Golden Giant, and that is not off to a good start. Okay, now we have both, so let's go. We'll start with the Golden Giant, and then we'll also go with the Knight in the corner over here um so there's a couple things that i'm going to keep in mind to try to point out to you guys um so like for example the uh on the golden knight uh, golden giant second um level up when his ko i'm going to talk about where exactly it is it's almost like the the radius of the expansion for the giant skeleton bomb or like the um expanded extended area for the mega knight jump so it's like that big it's not just a basic square for it um it's a fairly big area and then let's get the witch here nice we're gonna uh let's just sell the knight so we can get this so let, let's get the golden giant upgrade to level two here so we can see um so i can show you guys what we're talking about with that upgrade and so we'll see how this is going to play out. So the stun is going to go through there. The skeletons spawn in. Um, it's classified as mini Jeff on the developer build. Again, anything you see is subject to change. It actually doesn't say the attack speed. And I completely forgot to point out the um, healing radius. So uh, I will keep an eye out on that for the next one. If you saw it, you can go back and like pause it so you can see the radius. But I just forgot to talk about it. Um so here we go so let's do let's get the witch spawn in here 
Um, and I'm actually going to sell this. And let's go with the witch. Let's give the skeletons an extra 2 HP. So we have three skeletons that, that will spawn in. And they will all have 4 HP total. Again, it starts off as a base of 2 HP. It goes up to 4 HP. So we're about to see. There's a radius. It is uh, 1, 2. It's like 5. It's 5 by 5. So it's quite a big area uh, on the board. Which is really exci exciting because like... To have that big of an area of impact for a KO ability is really cool and will actually make the uh, the Golden Giant pretty viable in some decks. Um, I feel like the Golden Giant is going to kind of be like the Musketeer where it's like really visible in just a couple decks and that's about it. So I want to try to do this here. We'll see if we can get the witch up to level three as well in our next round. Skeletons are not going to be spawning in just yet. The healing ranger is coming in clutch for him. Get the uh, skeletons to spawn in. Oh, the bounce. Oh, the pierce on the magic archer is crazy. All right, so let's see what we can make happen here. Um, we're going to do this. Let's reroll. Let's grab the witch here. So she will now cast on the first... On the first uh, target here. So let's do this. Let's try this. We'll see how it goes. Um, maybe we'll be able to win. Maybe we won't be able to win. So we do spawn in the three skeletons. Everything's going to target this miner right away, which is really nice. Uh, the death is going to go off there. So it is going to heal our knight back up, which is actually really good. Um, the fact that we were able to get some healing onto the knight was really clutch. We have four skeletons swarming this magic archer, and we are going to be able to get the win right there with those. So, GG, well played. So, that is the area. It's a 5x5 five five witch able to spawn in. Probably against Royal Champion, not the best, because the Royal Champion against skeletons would just be able to chain a bunch of uh, her shield throws. So, if you're going up against Royal Champion and you have witch in your deck, probably not the best time to play her but other than that and maybe queen as well because of the boast uh if she's level 10 if not level 10 for either i would say i go nuts because the world champion will get distracted at lower levels on the skeletons but we'll, we'll go into a little bit more strategy um in future videos so if there's anything specific you want to see with either the witch or golden giant let me know down in the comment section below but i hope you all enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe for more content and don't forget to turn that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos and i'll talk to y'all in the next one have a great night everybody we'll see you later peace out